so I've got a slight confession to make. Um, I am an astrophotographer that has never taken a photo of the Milky Way. Um, and that's really quite embarrassing to admit, by the way. But that is all going to change tonight because I've got my kit with me. And um, we're here in Pembrokeshire for a week. We're staying at a lodge, which you can probably see uh, behind us. And we've got all of this uh, available to us. So we've got all of this, um, all of this ground grounds and then there's a bit of a fishing lake behind us um, and unfortunately there's a bit of a pier just here but unfortunately that faces north so I'm gonna go round the other side there just to take a couple of test shots to see how it looks uh, in the field of view I um, I reached out to Alan Wallace on Instagram whose uh, t-shirt I'm wearing by the way and asked him for a couple of recommendations for Pembrokeshire for Milky Way shots and he recommended a couple of places which I'm probably going to go and check out tomorrow night because it looks like it might be clear tomorrow as well um, but I'm going to try and see if I can get a good composition on this lake here and see how that looks so I'm going to test that out in the daytime now to see if it's any good um, if it's not then uh, I'll head out somewhere else this is the spot that I've picked for later south is basically right over there. I'm going to be using the Star Adventurer later but I thought it was just important to come down and just get a quick little glimpse of how it will look later so that I'm not sort of scrabbling around in the dark and I don't know how well you can see that maybe not very well at all but from here I can actually get uh, part of the water in and then you know a large portion of the sky as well so I'm really looking forward to seeing how these images turn out later. All right I'm just heading down to set up and it's a really nice sunset. You can just see a small crescent moon there and Venus is just below it, really low to the horizon. I'm not sure if you can actually see it on the screen. I've just been making sure that I didn't forget anything for this trip. Um, but one thing that I definitely did forget is my head torch. Um, so that's not very helpful. Um, it's not um, totally dark here at the minute. Hopefully you can actually see me. Um, there was a torch that came with the lodge but um, trying to hold that up while carrying everything else is a bit tricky and it kind of makes it look like I'm telling a ghost story to be honest so I've left that. Um, I'm going to try setting up now. It's a beautifully clear night. Um, it's just coming up to 11 o'clock. It's about 5 to 11 at night. Um, there's quite a lot of bats around. Um, I'm keeping a lookout for the geese. Um, I don't want to get attacked by geese and uh, apart from that the only thing to worry about is a few cows and sheep to be honest so um oh and also not falling in the lake that would uh, that would end in disaster um I've, I've had a bottle of wine uh with the wife so uh polar aligning might be a bit interesting tonight i'm not sure how well that's gonna go hugo is being his usual guard of the astro equipment it's on his lead in case the geese come close and I've got uh, the Star Adventurer, I'm polar aligned and I've got my usual Canon 650D with the Samyang or Rokinon if you're in North America, 14mm uh, f2.8. So I'm polar aligned, I've focused, I've just taken a quick snap of the lake just to see um, what the framing looks like. I'm pretty happy with that and I'll just have to wait for it to get dark in about 45 minutes time. So we're gonna head back up to the lodge and have a cup of tea. Okay, we have moved positions. We're no longer looking over the lake because the Milky Way was hidden behind a tree until the next couple of hours. So we've moved to the front of the lake and now the image is gonna be overlooking the lodge. We've turned all the lights off apart from those couple that you can see, we can't control them. And I've just finished taking the first test shot and that's what it looks like so I'm pretty pleased with that so I'm gonna get the images going and see how it looks in the final stack all right so it's the next morning and um, sorry if I pull in a funny face it's really bright out here and my eyes are really sensitive to light so in, in that way astrophotography is the perfect hobby for me um, anyway so I ended up having to move last night because the composition that I was hoping to get 
uh, wouldn't have been possible actually until about half past two. Um, in hindsight, I should have done a little bit more planning, but live and learn. Um, so I ended up having to move around to the front of the lake and actually I used the foreground shot as the lodge with the Milky Way behind the lodge. So hopefully I can make a really nice image out of that. I've got about half an hour's worth of data, so I've not got a lot, but um, it should be enough to at least make a, a decent image and hopefully a nice memory of us staying here in this lodge. And um, with the year that we've had with COVID and all the restrictions that's been put on everybody around the world, um, yesterday was just an absolutely amazing day. We went down to the beach and had a wander around, visited Dobby's grave, RIP. And it happened to be the anniversary of when me and Sarah had our first date. And so we had an absolutely perfect day. And then to be able to come back to the lodge in the evening and have a clear night to be able to take some Milky Way shots just topped it off quite nicely. And I'm sorry if the uh, footage before that was um, was a bit off, but I'd had you know some wine. So it should be clear again tonight. So I'm hoping to get out to Karoo Castle to be able to take a nice nightscape shot of Karoo Castle with the Milky Way behind it as well. So that will be great if I'm able to do that. But anyway, just feeling really thankful that um, we've been able to come here and do this. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed the image or images at the end and I'll see you in the next one.